Nelson says his sense of appreciation and respect for veterans has never been more heartfelt. Olson will soon say goodbye to his wife and two young children for a 270-day mission in Kosovo. He says he now has a better idea of the emotions veterans felt when their country called them to duty. You know, in thinking about what uh, people went through back in my father's generation and everything, uh, the time frame that we're going to be going over there is, and the situation we're going into is, is uh, uh, not nearly what they, they endured. Mark Topp will also be part of the Kosovo effort. Topp never thought at this point in his life that he would be called into full-time duty. But he says, like his dad, who served in Vietnam, he is honored to be asked. These men say Kosovo will be a challenge both individually and for the battalion. They say it's simply their turn to serve. We were just excited to be here to welcome our brother and our son home from, from uh, Iraq. Well, actually, I'd like to thank everybody who served for us because you know what? They're not thanked enough, and we really appreciate everything they've done for us. Can ever again take for granted his or her freedom or the precious gift that is America. Neither the United States of America nor the world community of nations can tolerate deliberate deception and offensive threats on the part of any nation. That we today have concluded an agreement to end the war and bring peace with honor in Vietnam. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat, but they have failed. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbor them. Yesterday, December 1941, a date which will live in infamy. I thought it was the right thing to do. Uh, you know, I think that's uh, why we're here, you know, to support the Air Force. Knew that I don't have forever left in my career, and I wanted to get over there uh, at least once and, and see what the heck's going on and be a part of it. Proud to do it. You know, I, I'd been in 17 years at that time and, and uh, you know, I always wanted to serve. Um, just wasn't, just was really surprised that it was going to be in this capacity. More or less a personal challenge to myself. Well, and as the conversions are coming up and we're moving into you know, the Joint Cargo Aircraft mission down the road and the Predator mission down the road, you know, it's not inconceivable that as a commander I'd have the opportunity or the requirement to deploy some of the people that work for me. And in order to do that, I wanted to have been there, done that, so to speak. One of the things that was really exciting was uh, meeting General Petraeus and actually having my picture taken with him on the um, Heroes Highway, which is the little overhang that they brought the soldiers through on the litters from the helicopters into the trauma room. It had an American flag in it that was lit up at night so that they would know they were safe. We train our entire careers to practice in a combat setting, and there I was, actually in a tent hospital. Our base took fire. We saw helicopters dropping off the wounded all day long. People worked in their uh, body armor sometimes when things were really hairy, and I met a lot of amazing people.